What's up guys, Nick Fox here. Uh, just wanna do a quick little video about what my three seasons are. Uh, and no, it's not summer, winter, fall, blah, blah, blah. It's uh, actually kind of this, I don't wanna say sports, like the activities that I do that really kind of keep me personally out of my own depressive state. That doesn't, I know that sounds kind of bad, but don't worry, I'm fine. But uh, yeah, a lot of people seem to have a tendency to go to work, go to sleep, go to work, go to sleep, go to work, go to sleep. And then they kind of just, they don't really have anything to look forward to. And I'm not telling you to quit your job or do all this stuff. Uh, I'm just saying to add this stuff onto your, not daily, but maybe your weekly routine. Just find something to do at the end of your week that gives you some time to really wind down and just forget about all the stress from work. And for me, I love these three things because they really do pump the adrenaline in me. And when I'm on a mountain bike, the last thing I'm thinking about is my project that's due in a week. I mean, not for me, because I'm not in school at the moment, but if I was in school, I'd still be doing something like mountain biking or snowboarding, because when I'm on a mountain bike, all I'm thinking about is not falling, and that's it. I don't think about any other thing that is happening in my life at that moment. All I'm thinking about is making it down that mountain without hurting myself, and for me, that does a lot. It really does do a lot. Same with snowboarding and even hiking. For me, hiking is a little bit more of a relaxing thing than adrenaline seeking and it doesn't... I can still think about my everyday life when I'm hiking, but I'm still working for something at my own pace. When you're working for someone, you're working at their pace. When you're at school, you're working at your teacher's pace, sadly. But I really do encourage you guys to just find something to do every weekend, every two weeks, or for me, I'm going to be gone for four or five months hiking this Appalachian Trail. Find a trip that you can plan. Uh, I did it a couple years ago with my friend Corey. We drove almost all the way across the country to go to Colorado to go snowboarding. That was an amazing experience. I would advise you try to do it a little bit cheaper than we did because we spent a lot of money. But yeah, you don't have to spend money to do all this stuff. Snowboarding, yeah, it is getting a little expensive, but hiking, you can just go out whenever you want, wherever you want, and go out and hike. So I just want to share with you guys a little bit of what I like to do. I'm not going to talk through it. I'm just going to show you. I'm not doing this to show off. I'm genuinely trying to show you guys me in a state where I am carefree. No matter what stressful situation I'm in in life, no matter how depressed or anxious I am, all these things just truly get it out of me. I truly forget about everything except for what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And I want you guys to see this and hopefully you guys can try and incorporate this into your own lives. So, hope you guys enjoy it. I'm not gonna put a little outro at the end. I'm just gonna let this video run out. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button for the algorithm thing, you know. I don't even know if I'm putting it in the right places, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy this.